Hello world! <laughs> My name's Lauren and I'm going to teach you how to be a safe runner. I have already filmed this video um, and I looked great. It, I thought my tips were great. Um, I looked decent. It was completely blurry. It looked like I've never been blind, but I think that's what it would look like if I was blind. Um, so I had to refilm it, and this was the only time I could find like a five minute slot between my cross country practice and dance practice. So I run cross country and track here at University of the Cumberlands, and I'm also on the dance team which doesn't necessarily apply to this video, but if any of you dancers are running, follow these tips too. Um, I think you can see my legs, so I don't really know how to sit, but that's okay. Also, that's why I look like this since I just got done running. I apologize. Next time, I'll try to find time, not between both of my practices. So, without further ado, let's go on and get into the video. I have my notes. Um, and I would show you on my phone, but one of my number one tips, if you run with your phone, and I do run with my phone, I just feel safer that way and I like to listen to my music. But if you don't, I'm not saying that you have to. Um, there's options um, on different watches that are similar to this, or you could even wear um, one of those medical ID bands. But on your phone, on iPhones at least, Android I'm sure maybe has something similar that you could get on the app store. But Lord, I'm rambling already and it's only like a minute into the video. Anyway, so on your phone, you can create a health ID on the health app. That's where it like tracks your step, steps and stuff. So you can put all of your information, your name, all of the different um, like health things people might need to know if they find you like passed out on the road or something. Hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> you can put in emergency contacts So you can put like your mom dad whoever um, And if you press your home and volume button five times fast or if you hold them down then it oh, Like calls 911 it gives 911 your location and it sends out a location to all of your Emergency contacts and I'm pretty sure it sends like a text to saying hey you were like one of your emergency contacts has sent out like a SOS. So that's super helpful and I would really definitely recommend to do that. Um, even if you don't run, like that's a good thing to have anyway, just in case you find yourself in a bad situation. Let me check the time. Okay, we got three minutes. I talk fast anyway. Um, so when you're running, this pretty much applies well to all of your life and to all of the tips that I'm going to share. Be aware of just your surroundings when you're running. Like I know I like to drift off and like daydream or whatever when I'm running to take the pain away, <laughs> to take the edge off. <laughs> you can still do that, but just be aware of what's going on around you because you don't want a dog, a car, a person to pop up out of nowhere and you not be prepared. Speaking of people, um, not everybody you see is going to be creepy and have bad intentions. Um, and even everybody who looks creepy isn't going to be a creepy person. Um, but if you see someone you know while you're running, obviously they're not going to be harmful to you unless you know they are. But if you see like a friend running, a classmate or teammate or whatever, I would make a mental note of when um, and where you saw them running because heaven forbid if something happened to them, then you could be... Um, helpful towards the police if they're searching for them. Um, you could be the last person they see, which is really, really dark. Um, but anyway, if you see someone you don't know on your run, don't like engage in conversation. Okay, I'm gonna pause and say a lot of these things that I'm saying are common sense, but I don't have common sense and sometimes I have broken these rules. Um, and I have funny stories of when me or my teammates have not followed these rules. So let me know in the comments below if you want to hear story times. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any tips that I haven't shared or that you want to elaborate on. Or, oh, also like, comment, subscribe, 
follow me on social platforms. I forgot that because I'm new to YouTube. But anyway, I was talking about people you don't know. Don't engage in conversation. Like, it's okay to say hi, um, but just be careful. And if somebody does look creepy, and let them know that you've seen them um, because they're less likely to attack if you could identify them in a police lineup. But just kind of mind your own business and maybe try to stay on the other side of the road if you come in contact with someone that looks creepy. Um, also, if you see a car stopped on the side of the road, go on the other side, as long as like it's safe for you to cross the road, of course. But if they ask for help or even someone on foot asks for help, just ignore it because it could be like a, a trap. So I would call the police and let them know that somebody needs help, but don't um, like engage with them. I've seen this happen before. I mean, I've heard some, some people I've ran with, this has happened to them and they've just called the police and let them know. Um, let's see, be aware of, like I said, like traps, um, bait. So we kind of joke about it on the team, but it really isn't something to, well, not really. We don't joke about it. We actually like talk about it. I don't know if that makes sense. But like one time we saw this flashlight um, on the ground and it was a morning run. So it was dark and the flashlight was on and we all, like all the girls, we weren't like together, but we all saw it and thought it was really creepy and we're talking about it when we got back. And then <laughs> when we were at the track, like doing our warm up drills, afterwards or our cool down drills whatever um our teammate one of our guy teammates comes with a flashlight and was like did anybody drop this and we were like mcguire we we thought that was bait <laughs> like don't touch things like don't grab things off the ground that you don't know where they came from uh, and that's a rule for life too but if you're running and you see something interesting on the ground just like that flashlight just leave it because it could be bait which is dangerous i have picked up things before on my run which isn't smart just leave things alone because <laughs> um, people get creative with traps you never know <sighs> let's see okay now I have three minutes I think um, if you see dogs on your run we love dogs but sometimes they're scary on runs to be completely honest I actually just kicked a dog yesterday if it's coming up to you like growling, like kick it, your life is more valuable than the dog's pride. Um, if m maybe you could carry, um, what do you call it, pepper spray? I don't carry pepper spray, some of my teammates do, um, but if a dog's coming up to you, spray it on the ground, that way you're not spraying it in their face and that usually deters them, but if they like still advance, then spray it in their face. Um, also dog whistles you could probably like youtube a dog whistle on your phone and keep it keep it on hand if you need that um but just if it comes down to it kick them or bark at them whatever you need to do you don't want a dog to bite you on your run that is not fun um, also if you know you're gonna run by a dog get on the other side of the road if you know it's coming up and again like just mind your own business unless it's like a cute dog like a little yorkie that's okay but Mind your own business if there's like a big dog um, and look like you have a purpose when you're running because they can sense fear, right? Also, with people, act like you have a purpose because they are less likely to attack you if you look like you would put up a fight. And the same things with dogs. A lot of these opinion, these are most of these are just things that I've heard from friends and family and I've seen on the internet. I do not have facts for the things that I'm saying. I want to disclaim that. But since I've, I've been running for a long time, I feel like I'm a reliable source. <laughs> I'm a scholarly journal when it comes to running safely. Um, I haven't, anyway. So I covered dogs and people. An another, like things to keep in mind for yourself it's okay to run with headphones in but don't run with both in because I mean cars can come out of nowhere and if you can't hear them then that's not good because they are not going to know that you're also running so just run with one earbud in or play the music just on your phone out loud I, I do that a lot um, when you are out running 
or when you're about to go on a run, have a plan for where you're going to run. Um, look and see when the sunset or sunrise is. That way you don't get caught like in the dark seven miles out from your house. Um, look at the weather. Again, you don't want to be in the dark and it raining seven miles out from my house, your house, wherever. So I think that's all of my tips. Um, I kind of ran through those really fast because I have to get to practice, but also I'm a fast talker. Um, and when I talk, it kind of sounds like spit is building up in my mouth when I have like my reading voice. That's what my boyfriend and family calls it. And I'm really bad at ending stories. So this YouTube thing is going to be interesting because you have to like end your video. Um, and when I'm telling stories, it usually sounds like there's gonna be more like coming after I'm done. And I have to say like, no, sorry, like that was the end of the story. And that just happened now because I don't know how to end this. Well, I have had fun. I'll see you in a week. Bye. <laughs> Also, I'm sorry that I'm, I, I don't know, I look crazy and I'm acting kind of crazy, but it's because I just had a workout and that just kind of, I don't know if it happens to you guys, but I just kind of not necessarily get energy. I guess I get energy, but it's just kind of strange. Let me know in the comments if that happens to you too.